No spoilers. The film that started all. The 89 Batman film. All right. This movie is pretty good. There are some goods and bad with it, and I'm just gonna start with the bad. The biggest one, Batman kills people. What the hell? Now I know that Tim Burton has said he's never read a comic book in his life. Um, I would believe that if he didn't rip off Kevin Smith, and it, yes, I'm one of those people that do believe that he did rip him off, but I'm not gonna get into that. I'll get into that when I talk about Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Um, and uh, the Planet of the Apes movie. But yeah, like, yeah, Batman kills people. Like, I'm happy that they try to fix this in Batman Returns and in Forever. Um, about the whole Batman killing people thing. But in here, that will always bother me. Um, also, um, Commissioner Gordon. The actor that played him was a horrible choice, okay? Um, in fact, Commissioner Gordon, this whole movie was a horrible way to portray him. Okay? Gordon, through the whole franchise, doesn't do crap. All he does is stand around and talk about stuff that Batman's doing, something that Robin's doing, something that Two-Face is doing, or the Riddler, or Catwoman, Penguin, Joker. Seriously, come on. Like, this is a man that has gone through so much, but has kind of stayed on the same path as Batman who believes in the you know, that Gotham well can um you know can do great things with Batman and you know you know he's always been like the normal cop well okay like in Earth 1 he's not like that um well he started like that but then moved on to become different like that but still um that was like all he really did at all was get brainwashed by Ivy and help her get to um, the bat signal. Seriously, that's the only thing I can really think. The big, the only big thing I remember him doing. Um, like it's really ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I hate Gordon in the in these in this franchise. Then we also have um, the parade scene. Now I'm not talking about the scene where Batman, you know, shows up in the Batwing and he like clips. Um, Joker's balloons that, you know, which carry the toxin. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when Joker announces that he's going to be in the parade and he throws money at people. But the cops don't do crap. They just throw money at um, they just they, they grab all the money he's throwing at them. Okay, if this guy has really admitted that he's committed murder and he plans to kill more people with the toxin... Frickin' shoot his ass, okay? Don't frickin' just say, ooh, money, money, money. Frickin' just shoot his ass. It's stupid. Um, next is Michael Caine as Bruce Wayne. Um, as Batman, that's a good thing. But as Bruce Wayne, it's pretty bad. Um, like, you know when Lankara does the whole, I'm not Batman, I'm not Batman, I'm Batman, joke, um, whenever he does, like, a Batman comic, um, that's kind of like... Like Michael Keaton here, um, as Bruce Wayne. Like, you can really tell he's up to something. Um, and it's really shown in Batman Returns. Um, but I'll get into Bat I'll get into that when I review Batman Returns. Um, but yeah, Michael Keaton was pretty bad as Bruce Wayne. Um, and there's multiple other plot holes I can get into, but I, we'd be here forever, and I got a time limit, um, here. Um, now on to, uh, the neutral part of it which is the Joker. Jack Nicholson and the Joker will always be debatable for me. Okay? Um, like, there's times where he acts like the Joker from the comics, like, um, like the scene where he sees his face after he gets surgery. Um, that is a very good Joker scene. That is a scene I could see um, happening in the comics. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if... Um, Joker does that when he returns, um, which I'll talk about, um, in a future video. Um, that scene is so popular that, uh, The Simpsons and that show My Jim Partner is a Monkey did a parody of, 
both for some reason involving braces. Um, but still, those are pretty funny parodies. Um, then, um, you know, we have a scene where he's promoting Smilex, the uh, toxin that he is using to kill people. That is a scene that I could see Joker doing and has done in the comics and in the, even in the TV shows in both uh, Batman the Animated Series and in um, the Batman series. For some reason, not Brave and the Bold, or maybe he did on my Messing episode. Um, it's been a while since I watched Brave and the Bold since its finale. Um, but yeah, like that was totally a Joker um, part. But then we also have the parts where they basically tell us he's not crazy and they give him an origin. Um, and that's kind of the problem. Joker is crazy, but in here, he's just a guy who had anger problems and has just been playing off the clown motif. Um, and, you know, the, um, funny moments with him, though, like, the only other funny moments with him besides the Smilex commercial is, uh, the scene where, um, he's with his, um, henchman Bob. Um, those are one of the funny moments in there. But, you know, also the backstory. Look, um, I'm just one of those people that, um, that just prefer Joker not having a backstory. If, um, Joker had, if you're one of the people that do like, you know, Joker having a backstory, um, good for you. Um, but for me, you know, to me, if like, Joker is going to have an origin, I would prefer to see, you know, the multiple choice idea to it. Um, but so yeah, Joker is, deb so Joker will always be debatable. Now, as for the good, the tone of the movie. Tim Burton did a really good job at bringing in the dark tone of Batman. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of help in bring in the darkness of what the comics was representing, even though he didn't read the comics. Um, as he says, um, Michael Keaton as Batman is a great Batman. Just a bad Bruce Wayne, but a good Batman. Um, like, him as Batman um, is very good. Um, his design um, of the costume is, you know, very awesome. I love that Batman design. Um, the Batmobile have been, um, has always been one of my favorite Batmobiles. Um, I think I had, like, four different versions of the toy as a little kid, um, which I don't have anymore. If I did, I'd probably put it on my, um, on my bookcase. Um, but I don't because I left it where my little brother can get it. And he broke it, so that sucks ass. Um, but yeah, like, um, I love that. Um, the actress that plays Vicky Vale was a pretty good Vicky Vale. Um, the actor that played Alfred was a pretty um, damn good Alfred. And uh, don't get me started on Billy Dee Williams playing Harvey Dent. Okay? I am very disappointed that he was not in Batman Forever. Um, instead, we got um, Tommy Lee Jones playing a more Joker-like Two-Face. Now, um, that's all I really can say about uh, the movie. Um, if you are a Batman fan, I say give this movie a chance. If you like it, okay. If you don't like it, okay. Um, if you're just looking for a really good Tim Burton film, I say check this movie out. Um, that's all I gotta say. I hope you liked the video. Goodbye.